Hello YouTube and everyone associated, I know I'm doing a terrible, horribly offensive British accent, but I felt it necessary due to the fact that I'm going to be reviewing a game that's from England itself. Allow me to introduce to you Killing Floor. As we can see, it's a grossly horrifying game with a couple of references to pop culture and video games in its thing, but it's mostly just a survival shooter. So, for the sheer fact of entertainment, I'm just going to do it like a blobbering pussy and put it on beginner and make it a short map so I don't blow all my gigabytes away with disk space. Alright. God, that's horrifying. Killing floor, I wonder what this game's about. Maybe it's about throwing daisies at puppies or something. <laughs> Medical syringe. Oh, balls, it takes forever to load. Okay, as you can see, we you have different classes, or perks, or whatever. Mine was mostly sharpshooter, because I absolutely love being precise. And here we go, okay, I'm going to stop the accent, because it, it's starting to annoy me. Okay, you start off with a pistol that's got a flashlight on. For some crazy reason, no other weapon in the game has that, which is really effing inconvenient. Especially in a zombie survival game, where 90% of the map is nothing but pitch black. Oh look, there's one now. It's also surprisingly easy to get headshots in this game, so... See, I'm not even trying. I'm really barely aiming at them. Okay, dude. Uh, by the way, this game only gets scary once you turn the difficulty up, so I'm going to be incredibly bored, probably. Anywho, but then after that, yep, yeah. yeah. So, oh my God, it came out of nowhere, didn't it? Yeah, that. Well, on the hard difficulties, and depending on what perks you have, this game can be really effing scary because, well, you can never tell where these guys are coming from unless you have the volume turned all the way up, like that. Oh yeah, and then after each round you go to something called the Trader, which is like the Merchant's Black Lover or something, I don't know if you've played Resident Evil 4 or not. But she sells you weapons, just like the Merchant. Every time you get to a safe area away from the zombies, just like the Merchant. <laughs> I'm starting to notice a pattern here. Okay, I got this weapon on my way out, but you can get all kind of various weapons, you can get fully automatic shotguns and shit so but I'm gonna go with the hand cannon it's like my favorite pistol in this game and then for a slight upgrade you get a couple of them which is effing amazing sell that shit alrighty now that we've got now I got my weapons gonna get me some armor fill up my ammo and then I'm ready to go and this is some then you go into Laura Croft mode over here and yeah I've seen no other shooter do this I do not understand why every popular shooter cannot just do aiming down the sights like that like Call of Duty it's always like stuck like this no matter what you want to do because apparently 13 year old kids who yell at their moms for not buying them energy drinks hate aiming down the sights of two pistols or I don't know but most of the time you run into then you can like close doors and weld them shut and crap, but I don't even, I really don't even bother with that. Good stuff I sold you. Put it to good use. Got some rare things for sale, stranger. Oh, God. No, it's actually got, it's pretty impressive graphically. For a game that was like five dollars when I got it, I'd say it was well worth the money probably like 20 or 12 or something like that some of the uh, money but for five dollars at the time that it was on sale it was well worth it what's that Arthur's Gordon <laughs> okay then you got bio -co what the hell's bio cola it's like nuke cola or something a great work day starts with a great ass <laughs> Sounds like the slogan of the place I used to work at. We had a partnership with Aperture Science. Test, uh, I'm not even going to bother reading it. 
I'm lazy. Yes, weapons are more important than signs. What the? What? 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 What is that? What? What, is, what are they trying to spell here? Okay, you can get different kind of. Then you can get 44 magnums, which. 4 to 4 magnum. Um, those are pretty fun. You got something called a Mac 10. You can get flamethrower. Ooh, that looks fun. Okay, and it also has an extensive gallery of melee weapons as well, which is, I think, cool. So I'm gonna go with the katana. For all of those of you who've played Left 4 Dead 2, I think we can all agree that killing zombies with katanas is just amusing as all hell. So for this round, I'm just gonna go melee on all these assholes. Look, there, look, there's, there's one of the court. You see, you see. I wonder what this is referencing. I wonder where are we? Something about aperture and a, and a lab. Cake is alive. I love how they don't have like a block feature with this thing. Like you can't block the zombies. Oh crap! They hop too. Oh crap! Screw that! I feel like red steel right now. Fighting zombies with guns and swords. Guns and swords, guns and swords, guns and swords. Guns and swords, guns and swords, guns and swords, guns and swords. Guns and swords. Okay. Luckily I'm a beginner, so I'm not really taking very much damage at all. And I got a lot of armor. I think I'm just gonna stick with guns for now. Cause that may be fine if you have a berserker class, but if you're on 